many people here have ever uh, have ever worried because uh, bad weather is coming and you know that you you have to try to prepare for the bad weather and you have to get food and uh, see if you've got enough firewood if it's going to be a freezing cold winter or something like that. Um, what happened to us in Nukalofa was that uh, a, a cyclone, which is uh, a South Pacific hurricane, was heading right towards us. And uh, the harbor itself was totally exposed. It, it, it would be like uh, a, a, a hurricane in Florida and, and being out in the open for the whole hurricane. And we, uh, we knew we had to find a place uh, that would be protected because we were living aboard our boat. And we saw on a paper chart this sort of, um, well, I, I would call it more, mostly a lagoon, but it looked like the lagoon, you could maybe get to it from the ocean, maybe get to the ocean through a, a very narrow pass, kind of like this, but with, with no soundings, no, no depth, so that we could get through. And we inched our way through that pass. We only would go three feet at a time and we'd stop. We might, we might hit a coral head. And then we'd back down and we'd go another way. And we finally, after two hours, uh, we broke into this, this lagoon that was 10 feet deep everywhere and really good mud, which is good for an anchor. And we got in there and we started stripping the boat and we got on the VHF radio, which is kind of like a cell phone for a boat, and we started calling the five or six other boats that were in the anchorage that didn't know where to go, just like us, and we said, come in here, come in here. And um, we started lead going, we went out in our tender, which is our dinghy, which is just like your car, and we went out and we helped those boats get into the lagoon, and all night long, all of us are listening to the weather reports, just like we do at home, kind of like the Weather Channel, and, and this cyclone was coming right for us, right for us. And nobody could sleep that night. You know what it's like when you're all nervous and upset about something like that. And the next day, it veered a little bit. We had been totally prepared for this. It veered just a little bit and didn't hurt, hurt, hit us at all. I mean, we had strong winds, but nothing like hurricane force. And you know, what that, that taught me was that um, most of your fears are in anticipation of things that never happen. I mean, you certainly do have to get prepared for them and uh, they're always uh, stressful, but um, some of the time, what we fear most in life never comes to pass. And one of the things that I, I learned from that was, okay, be prepared, but um, know that perhaps it won't be as bad as you think it is. It was, and that's what this reminds me of, coming into this little pass. I think I'd come a little more to port too. <laughs>